Welcome back to the uh, the developer deathmatch that I'm doing here with uh, Andreas, the developer of of uh, Freesive Web. And uh, so that here's the the way this is this is working out. There's of course there's only two of us, and we're on a uh, size I think it's size four map, which is just a bit smaller than a, than your standard size Civ map. So it's actually going to be a pretty big uh, world. We're going to have I mean you could probably fit something like four comfortably fit four different sieves on this map. There's only going to be two of us, so, so we're going to have a, 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 a lot of growth time. Typically when I would do something like a deathmatch, which has been a very long time, um, I would do something like, you know, just throw out the initial settlers, which you get like, you get five of them here, and and just do like a rush, you know, I just hit them hard and fast. But this time, because it's going to be such a big map, it's going to take forever to actually get to where he is. So I'm thinking maybe the way to do this is to go... Here, I'm going to go to trade. Is to work my tech, not necessarily from military immediately, but, but focus on getting uh, growth, which is why I'm building lots of granaries here. Uh, pottery was the first tech I went for. Grab potteries, uh, granaries first to get growth out of the cities. And... Um, trade, so we can start getting caravans cranked out, and hopefully with caravans we can start getting money and, uh, and more research. Um, there we go with granaries. So yeah, each city, I am, um, I settled each city, I'm cranking out a granary, as soon as the granary gets built, then I'm gonna crank out another, one more settler with each one. So there's our, well, we have six cities now, and they're all doing the same thing, granaries. As soon as they get a warrior in them, go for the granary. And uh, I started going when I'm like explore with my explorer. I started kind of heading out a bit further, but I thought, you know, I don't want to meet him just yet. I don't want him knowing where I am on the map because it is a big map. He's not going to be sure exactly where I'm going to be. So I think it's probably best to just explore the perimeter and sort of work our way out. Because I don't want if if I'm playing it this way, where we're not focusing so much on military media, we're going to focus on growth and economy. Then I should not uh, find him just yet. So that's what we're doing. Slow road. There's now we uh, we now have our uh, our granaries built. So now we're gonna start looking at uh, settlers. We also have bronze working, but a lot of the cities still have warriors in them, which is fine. He won't be finding me anytime soon. I hope not. I mean, he could be doing the big uh, rush thing, and if he does, then I'm probably going to be hosed. But I'm gonna hope he's not doing that. And I'm gonna hope that if he does do that, then I will at least be able to fight him off, and then I should be able to rush him. So. That is the plan, anyways. We have found a few units. I got a couple uh, legions that I have discovered uh, in huts, and uh, we have two explorers now. I think I found. Uh, I found a. I think I have two explorers. I think I just had the one. Yeah, I just had the one. I just have legions exploring with me. But there we go. Um, granary is done. Now it's time to build the settler. So each city has kind of a, a set thing here. Buenos Aires, or Buenos Aires is still building coinage right now, which is a mistake. But I'll fix that in a second. Uh, we just discovered a friendly, friendly city down here, Arequipa, down south there, which I think is which is okay. We we have, I didn't, I didn't quite decide what I wanted to get the perimeter. I, I was keeping these legions around because I wanted to find out my perimeter first and know because I had no idea how this map was going to be built out. Is it? I didn't know if it was going to be like a, like a Pangaea style or or multiple continents or if we're going to be on certain islands. Uh, obviously, it's starting to look like it's a, a bigger continent thing, but I didn't know if um, we're going to be on a separate continent or on the same continent so I figured best to just find first goal is to find places for me to settle because I want to get my initial towns out as quick as possible so that's what we're doing now I'm not really focusing on any, any workers maybe I should be but right now we're just just cranking out granaries then settlers and I don't really have any tech past that to do anything much with theirs I finally figured out ah, coinage is no good so I fixed that. But yeah, so just more exploring, finding the primers. Don't uh, don't find him yet. That's the goal. He is uh, he is the Antarcticans, which uh, his color is orange. So it's it's at first glance, it's not easy to see him, but uh, we should we'll find him before too long. I'm of course voicing over this as we as I. Uh, fast forward the recording you can kind of see so something it, it does whenever you play the the play by email it's not a big deal when you play but when you do it normal but recording it uh, whenever I discover a tech I'll hit turn done and then the text screen will pop up so a lot of these texts that I'm getting aren't actually popping up in in the screen 
Uh, but if you read the little window there on the left side, it'll tell you when I discover a tick. So, but right now, right now we're just we're just rushing towards trade, and the idea being once we get settled, we're gonna start cranking out caravans. So each, each city, if each city does one caravan, it'll be a huge deal. Um, after we get that, then I want to get monarchy. I think if we get monarchy, uh, that'll help our economy immensely. If we have money, um, then we can really do anything. We could, we could. There's two different ways of going. If we have money, we could, we could try to win just using diplomats, so just sending swarms of diplomats and buying him out, or we could just buy military units and, and do it that way. So money is really a, a, a good thing. Which right now I am. Is that plus or minus five? I can't read. It's blurry. I'm, re I'm, I'm watching this on a very blurry screen as I'm, as I'm voicing over. But uh, yeah, I'll here we go. Trying to decide what I wanted to do for tech, and uh, there's there's where we're going for monarchy now. And ceremonial burial will be very nice too. None of my towns are very big though because we are uh, building settlers, so it's it's stifling the growth. But it's a, it's starting to look like we're on a big continent, on one massive continent. I mean, there is still a big black area there in the middle, but it's starting to look like it's only one big chunk of land. And if that's the case, uh, I don't think. The boats, I'm not going to focus on boats. They um, they may come into play later on. It might be important. Because you can use boats to like bombard things there. I got trade, so now we're cranking out the caravans. Um, later on, boats can be handy. Plus, you can just you know do some drop-offs like the, behind the front lines. And uh, that will be beneficial. But at the moment, we're still focusing on, on growth. And I don't, don't want to find him yet. I don't want him knowing where I am. Somewhere in here, it, pretty soon... He actually finds me. He sends me a message and tells me that he saw me. And I do not see him, which is a little little concerning. But yeah, more city building. More city building. It looks like we've, we've discovered the top half of the continent there. And so if that's the case, that might be some good city spots. Be, they should be safe back there. Um, no threat from him. I'm assuming he is... You can kind of see... Uh, I'm assuming he's out this way. Uh, Arequipa. I'm assuming he's he's that direction. That's where that's where the big black area is. There's monarchy. All right. So now we have some proper. We should get some proper growth out of our our, our town. We actually discovered a goodie hut here, which is what gave us the tech. And then we will have a revolution as soon as this turn's done. Here we go. Monarchy. And yeah, that's just like a, a bit of a peninsula thing. So yeah, we want to crank out a few more. Um, settlers for that. And yeah, I was, a little, I was a little concerned about Santiago, so I bought the worker, or the warrior, because I wasn't sure how close he was going to be. Plus, if he was out doing it, exploring like like I am, then it, it uh, that could be a problem. So we want to make sure those those uh, border towns are, uh, are a little more secure. I am starting to, I feel... Safer, so I'm starting to spread out a bit more on my uh, exploring. See if we can figure out where he's at, because that'll that'll help. That'll help me know where to build towns and where to sort of focus phalanx and things. Because he's probably getting about, depending on what way he goes. If he goes with his mass building towns, then we'll be about the same. But if he's focusing on getting lots of production out and and creating units, then that'll be a problem. Here's where he tells me that he discovers my people, which is concerning. I let him know that tanks were heading his way, just to, you know, just to, just to worry him a bit. <laughs> That's me looking around trying to figure out where he sees me, because I don't know where he sees me. He probably was out scouting and, and came across my border, but I do not actually see him, but he probably sees my border somewhere, and I don't know where, which is, which is a very concerning thing whenever you're playing a death match. <laughs> and you have, it's, I had, I had no clue whether my tech was comparable to his, or whether I was doing better, I had no clue. This is the, the, um, well, this is actually my favorite part of the game, is the, is the early on building, because you don't know how you're doing, you don't have a clue. Um, it's, and it can be very, very worrisome. Especially for when you're recording this. <laughs> but I, I don't like my odds, though. Uh, ideally this, uh, I assume the developer would, uh, know how to play the game a lot better than I do. <laughs> but, uh, 
That's why I'm, I'm focusing on the growth. I'm thinking maybe that would be something different than what he's thinking. So if I just crank out the, the, uh, um, the, uh, the cities and get the growth and the production and the money, then maybe things will be okay. Which money, by the way, right now is not growing. So we are kind of poor, but, but I'm not trying to save up a lot of money at the moment. Why is this screen frozen? I don't know. It's just a frozen screen. Stranger. Interesting. And still no no military yet. Uh, we're working on a, a library in Quito just to help a little bit with the uh, research. I am worried, especially whenever he says that he sees me. It worried me that perhaps I should focus a bit more on on, uh, on research. Just, just in case. So now we're getting iron working. So to get the occasional legion, which we do have the two legions out there still exploring. And those those legions down there are um, their whole point. Have those two legions that are out running around is to come across him and hope to sneak up on him and if uh, and attack him. And there's there's two reasons for that. One, it'll it will that's nowhere near where I am. So if I attack him from a different direction, he may think that's the front line. And send his defenses there, and then leave the other ones bare. But really, I just want to find them. Now we are looking. What do we got? We have chivalry we're running towards gunpowder. Now tech has actually moved along qu pretty quick. What year is it? It's 1450 BC. So yeah, tech is moving along really quick on this. A lot faster than I assumed it would. It would run. I guess because we're on such a big map, we have a lot of cities, and so um, tech is moving quicker than it normally would. Because on a normal game of Freesive, I would I would have a smaller map, which I think actually the uh, he's actually adjusted. So I think it's like a size three now, which is like three thousand tiles for the death matches, death match games. They play by email games, so it's it won't be quite as uh, uh, as massive as this one is. Which I, I I think I like the big map. It, it it takes a long time. This is this is over about this one episode, which is I think it's like sixty turns. Which took us, like, three weeks. Mainly it's my fault, because I have to record these on my computer. He can play these on his phone. Yeah, that's the beauty of Freesiv Web. Um, he can play his turns just sitting on his phone, but I have to come back here and, and record these things. Another goodie hut with, with tech, which is very good. Also was a sign that he has not been there. So it shows that perhaps we do have more room to grow. There's 50 gold in that goodie hut. But we are slowing down. We're doing a little bit of... I don't, think any, I don't know if anyone's building settlers anymore. Um, I'm building a lot of caravans right now. Caravans will get me lots of cash. Right now we're up to plus 7 gold per turn. Lots of cash, plus it gives research. Whenever you uh, build, set your tra uh, trade routes up. But as you can see, there's a, there's a lot of uh, open space here. And I still have not found the guy. Those dang Antarcticans. I'm not sure what options are available now. I know he's done a couple updates um, on play by email. So I'm not sure if you can choose your map yet or if it's just all going to be like a random thing. Um, I'm sure there's plans for more to it later on. But for now, there's, uh, oh yeah, we're looking at, there's the greatest cities of the world. And then we can see how we're doing based on him, which he, uh, looks like I have a, bit, a little bit better mil- or, a little bit better military, but that was a good, uh, way of seeing some things. It's, it's not, you can't tell how much better he is, but I can see a little bit, whether I'm behind or not. Which it could be something as simple as me having warriors in my towns and him having, uh, musket men. Or pikemen. The game likes to auto-build aqueducts. So I'm trying to catch those every time it throws them in there. And you can see, I think every single town is building a caravan. <laughs> every town but the new one I just built. And there's, oh, that top town is building settlers. Because I want to I want to colonize that, uh, yeah, up here. Linden up there. I want to colonize. I can get probably two more towns up in that uh, top peninsula. And, because uh, those should be nice, safe towns. There's, there, he, unless he built a boat and goes around, that won't be an issue. Finally, he's starting to get some workers out. Um, I probably need some more workers because I have lots of towns and I have very little irrigation or roads, and uh, that's 
Probably going to cause an issue later on. Where is this? Santiago. Yeah, we're starting to crank out some knights. Just to have uh, some sort of a military. Because right now, if he, would, if he were to send a military right now at me, I would be host. So we got to have something to defend ourselves. Especially since he knows where I am. That's a bit more concerning. I really want... I may have should have done that sooner, but I really wanted to get the caravans out. I know that in the long run, those are going to be huge. And here in Quito, um, Sun Tzu gives you a, a like a bonus um, uh, veteran level on your military unit. And uh, I think it's going to take me a while to build, but I think that is going to be a big help later on. I'm terrible at building barracks. But if I can get Sun Tzu and then the and then a barracks in there, that'll be a, a big help. Uh, veterancy is that the word? Is that the correct adjective uh, in this game? Is is that an adjective? <laughs> uh, is is a good? It's is powerful, very powerful. But yeah, still exploring, still looking for him. He found me like twenty turns ago, and I still have not found him. I don't have a clue where he is. And there's not a lot of, a lot of black space left. I mean, there's one more area down down there that is probably where he is. Okay, we see any graphs, but I can just see that. You can see how he's doing. He's beating me on the um, greatest city. He has a city better than mine. Unacceptable. Filthy Antarcticans do not have better cities than South Americans. So yeah, we are just um, doing some... Oh, there he is. There he is. There is... This is when we found him. We found his corner. I, mean, so I kind of scrolled it fast. But down in there, you can kind of see it on the mini-map. That is his corner. I don't know what part of his empire that is, but that is an empire part that we found. And that is it. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is uh, episode two. Next time, we will uh, focus on getting a military built. And go say hello to the Antarcticans. Thanks again for watching. I will see you next time.